What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So as you guys know from the previous video, we did actually swap all the fuel lines from the Sound FRS. We took out all the stock hard lines from the Sound FRS and we have replaced them for PTFE E85 compatible Brita lines. Everything seems pretty good. So today we're going to be working with the fuel pump and the fuel pump assembly. I kind of figured out uh, how to reuse the stock fuel pump basket and kind of override the Venturi system. And also I created like a return line into it. You guys will see it in a minute. Um, and also I received this today. This is actually a piece of art from Radium. The quality of this is amazing. I didn't really expect some such a thing like this. This is the, the high flow filter from Radium. Man, this thing is really nice. It's the size of the soda can, look at that. It's so cool. Um, so yeah, so just a little overview here from everything. The motors do sit on the dolly waiting to be relocated inside the chassis. Heated core piping almost done. We just gotta create a place. We could just seal this up and use the stock bushing so we could just hold this, you know, hose this in place like so, right? Very nice. Um, the fuel lines, we took out all the hard line, all the stock hard lines and we replaced them for, you know, the Brita line from Vibrant. This is Vibrant uh, PTFE E85 compatible fuel lines. Uh, we're still waiting for the motor to go in one more time. So we could just take some measurements. I don't know what's the exact amount of fuel lines that I need, you know, for the feet and for the return. You know, I don't want to just let things hanging around so I'll be ugly, you know. Uh, and also I gotta look for space of how to fit this huge filter. I don't know where to put it yet. Maybe somewhere easy to access, somewhere over here, you know, over here. I don't know, we'll see. Um, so that's pretty much. So here, is another fuel pump. This is the third one. Okay, I kind of messed up on the second one. And this is the stock one that I pulled out from the car. So, as you guys know, the Sound FRS stock fuel system uh, has an integrated fuel pressure regulator uh, that comes with a Venturi system. Look at that, right? Everything is linked all together. So, uh, we gonna go over that. We're gonna delete all that, you know, and then we're gonna run the uh, radium siphon system. This is actually going to mimic the Venturi system, right? But without having go through the fuel pressure regulator. So how the way that this thing is going to be taking fuel is direct from the pump. So we deleted all that. The pump is sitting all the way down there. I'm going to take this out in a minute so you guys can take a look. Uh, so and also we created a little return over here. Everything is not 100% uh, tied up yet with clamps and stuff, you know. But I just want to present it. So we're gonna do a final and definite fuel pump assembly, you know, with the third one that we got because you know this is not functioning anymore. The second one, I'll tell you guys the story in a few minutes. So yeah, so this is the project, right? We've just been experimenting with with this, you know, uh, basket, and then uh, I came out with this, you know. So. Uh, returns come from over here. This is actually the feet. We're gonna use the feet stock feet location It goes through here, right? This is actually coming for the fuel pump. So the fuel pump is gonna pump fuel This is the feet that's come off from the goings to the rails, right? And this is the return that's come from the fuel pressure regulator and the returns lines, you know uh, So this go over here all the way down here into the siphon system and it's gonna create a uh, uh, what is this? I mean, tourist system. This is gonna pull fuel from the other side from the tank, right? And then just, you know, uh, let it sit on the basket, you know, so we could just have fuel at all time. Uh, this, I'm gonna cap this. I'm just gonna lift this open, right? And then, uh, I don't know. I think that should be it, though. I don't know what I'm missing. Oh, we upgraded a fuel pump. As you guys know, we have a 340 LHP agent here. So this is the stock one. Right, so hopefully everything is gonna work. I mean, we're gonna try it. If not, we're gonna pull it out and redo it again and figure out all the ways. But this is, I think, the best idea that I had came with. You know, with all these corrugated lines that you know, same stock. I mean, I wanted to use the, the, the regular hard lines, but you know, once you start bending this thing, this this line started to kink in. So, so these are E85 compatible, so we're good for what we you know wanted to do. So looks really complicated but it's not that it took i mean it took me a little time of research or what we're doing or not but so i think this is pretty good because you know i'll be able to keep the you know the stock basket you know so i could just avoid uh fuel starvation you know fuel slashing left and right you know everything is going to be inside the basket 
So, I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty decent though, right? The system and everything. Yeah, so this is the second pump that I got from eBay. Now, um, I got a third one is because uh, this second one came with sticky glue. I don't know what it is. It looked like sugar or something. It's really sticky. Uh, I tried to get back to the seller, but you know, they didn't want to refund any money into me. So I wouldn't recommend you guys buy from this guy anymore. I mean, if you guys do so, just make sure that you check all your items. I didn't open this package until like probably last week or something. It was It was sitting right there for like a month closely, you know? And I text him back like, hey, you know, I cannot really use this, you know? And it's like, oh, you know, you, you can send it back. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, it was $40 anyway. So I ended up getting a third one. So, whoo, there's a lot of fuel pump here. Look at that. <laughs> Crazy. Um, so, yeah, so what I'm going to do with this one, this is actually the definite uh, project model that we're going to be using. This is just like a template. I was just cutting in and you know destroying things try to figure out ways how to you know make everything works on the you know stock system so this is this idea is actually pretty good so i'm gonna just copy and paste that you know copy everything to here so we can have a better looking fuel pump and also another thing that i did over over here is i kind of overcut it you guys see that hole over there i made a hole over there i didn't want to you know have any issue with the with fuel starvation and all that so that's another reason that I got a, a third one because the second one I couldn't really use it. I mean, I could. I tried to wash it up already. This thing is actually very gooey, so I don't want this thing to go inside, you know, my belt. So I don't want nothing to damage my motor. So I tried to wash it like really hard. I, I put a lot of chemical in there. It didn't go nowhere. That's that's crazy. So yeah. So we're gonna deal with the third fuel pump now. Like I said, I'm gonna copy and paste, put all this stuff over here. Um, I cut this out on this side. I'm not gonna cut it out. I try to maybe move this return line slightly more towards the inside of the cover over here, so we could just have a little more room to close it up better. I think other than that, uh, after that, we should be able to put everything back in into the car, and then <sighs> hopefully, cross finger, you know, everything will work fine. <clears throat> so I just opened this up. So this is actually the stock fuel pump assembly. This is gonna sit in stock, you know, inside the basket. Now, the reason that I wanna keep this uh, stock fuel pump assembly because this thing actually is really good, this housing, you know, it keeps the fuel pump in place. It's, you know, it doesn't swing left and right when you're in driving or something, you know, you won't have any problem with starvation. So, yeah, and it hold the pumps really, really good, you know. Uh, manage how to, you know, put a clamp in there uh, with a corrugated uh, hose. Look at that. It looks good though. You know, it fits literally like stock. So here's the fuel pump assembly for the Sound FRS and Zubo VRZ. This is the fuel basket, right? All the fuel is going to be sitting in there waiting for the fuel pump to pick up, right? Without having going around, baffling, slashing left and right. This is, this is kind of cool though, this basket, you know, very nice. And also we created a return line over here. This actually is going to be coming out from the fuel pressure regulator and return line. And then go in here into our siphon system. This is going to be our new Venturi system without have going, you know, to this fuel pressure regulator that I already cut out over here. <laughs> I can delete that. Get out. I'm not going to use you anymore. So, and also this is, you know, the all the fuel that is going to be coming out, right, from the Venturi system and the returns. And this is going to be going back into the fuel basket. So we're actually going to have fuel at all the time, you know, no starvation, hopefully no starvation. We don't want any of that. Um, and also we have the fuel gauge over here. The lever is 100% functional. It looks good. Nice and simple, you know, no headaches. Hopefully cross finger, it works. If not, like I said, you know, we have to pull this thing out and then, uh, I don't know, do some more research and modify this again. All right, so pretty much here at the cover uh, with the 6AN return line, I actually created a better one with this new cover. Look at how good is it compared to, you know, to the other one. This is actually have a bar fitting, which is, you know, good for those return lines, you know, with a clamp. Look at that. It looks so clean compared to this one. 
I mean, this is like a project, but you know, we, we make things better, you know? All right, guys, so the fuel pump assembly is fully built. Look at that. Damn, it looks so cool. So we transfer everything from the demo basket. This is the basket that, you know, we used to create all the templates, all the cutting, all the stuff that, you know, we really were planning to do. And then this is the final product. So just a little quick explanation over here. So pretty much here, this is the factory uh, feed line. This is coming from the pump, right? So we have the AEM 340. LPH over here, you know, with all these corrugated lines. Now, the reason that we're running this type of corrugated lines is because if you try to put a hard line like this, you try to do a little, you know, 90 or 45, this thing would definitely kink. So this actually, they're made it, you know, for a uh, little space, and these are actually pretty flexible, and also these are uh, EAE5 compatible. Everything is looking pretty good. So we have this one over here from the pump, right? making a 45 making a turn coming up for the feet all right and also uh we created a return these are actually better fitting than this one that i had over here right look at this one this was pretty big all right compared to this one this one's slimmer and also i moved this 6 a.m fitting slightly forward because the other one this one was actually hitting on this little housing the plastic housing over here so you know, I push a little forward and everything have in tons of clearance, everything is good, everything is tight, you know, with few clamp hoses. You don't want to use water hoses because, you know, there is possibility that they could cut the, you know, the corrugated lines. They don't want anything like that. And then from over here, we got the return. The return comes over here. You know, we have another uh, 45 here that's making a spin down to our... Uh, radium siphon system. This is the Venturi system that is going to mimic uh, the stock uh, Venturi system, but like I said, without having going to the fuel pressure regulator. So we're going to have tons of pressure, good pressure, hopefully. Um, so this is the, uh, the Venturi side, which is this one over here. This is used to sit over inside here. So this is actually uh, pull fuel from over here. And this go up here and this split up, you know, for the fuel pressure regulator and uh, for the pump. It gets a little confusing, but if you guys doing a project, you guys will definitely, you know, understand the system. It's not really that bad though. Uh, yeah, so this one is uh, the Venturi system. This one suck fuel uh, from the return. And then this line is going back to our flow tank all the way down there. So we're gonna have you know feel all the time there's i don't think there should be any you know type of starvation because all the return and all the line is going to be ending up on the basket and then if it just overflow i guess it should just flow out on the side all i gotta say is like this thing looks so futuristic it looks like iron man you know look at that all those lines look so cool i mean it uh, there's no other choice you know like to be honest like to there's no you you, you cannot do a 90 in here because these lines are you know have a limit so yeah so what i'm gonna do now is i'm actually gonna put everything back into you know the fuel tank assembly i uh, hope everything's fit it should fit you know just this little thing here concern me a little bit but it should be fine all right so this is pretty much on the back of the car now so here's the uh the braided lines i'm gonna put, put a, we're gonna actually put those downstairs because i want to fit this nicely I picked I bring those up another day you know when I'm ready to put all those things back there it doesn't bother uh, this is the stock feet line we don't really need this I could just probably squeeze this on the side as well uh, the only one that we need is actually this one over here this is the uh, the one that's come from the other side of the tank just go into this little guy over here from the Venturi system, so it should fit. All right, so everything seems to fit really good. I love this quick connector. This thing's so cool. You just plug it in, make sure that, you know, it's not gonna pop out and we should be good. You just make sure that pull a couple of times. I know this thing is not gonna come out, so. All right, so I found a little problem here when I was trying to put this pump in. So with the Venturi system hanging out from, you know, this section over here, 
it wouldn't fit because look at this how narrow is uh you know is a gas tank so with the venturi system that you know that i first actually designed it that was hanging out from over here you know with the zip ties it wouldn't fit though so i managed how to squeeze everything inside the uh the fuel pump basket i mean hope everything is works i mean it's the same thing it's just rerouting differently um I mean, I don't know, man. Hopefully this works, but this this looks really sketchy, though. So, I don't know. I'm going to try to put it back in, and hopefully it fits. And then, uh, if it fits, it works. All right, so here's the fuel pump assembly inside a gas tank. Now, there's a little problem, you know. Ended up that everything is so big, and, man, it's, this thing is not going to fit right, man. Like, this is... I have to modify all those lines again and uh, make this thing, like smaller internally because this thing would have just press in that uh, app uh. man this thing sucks man i hate this so yeah i'm gonna have to pull this back out and then just you know redo everything again you know make sure that uh the housing sits right i guess you know like this is so difficult man